Hello, fellow bhikshus who aspire to wear the yellow robe. Chapter 17, Anger. Let a man leave anger. Let him forsake pride. Let him overcome all bondage. No sufferings befall the man who is not attached to name and form and who calls nothing his own. He who holds back rising anger like a rolling chariot, him I call a real driver. Other people are but holding the reins. Let a man overcome anger by love. Let him overcome evil by good. Let him overcome the greedy by liberality, the liar by truth. Speak the truth. Do not yield to anger. Give if thou art asked for little. By these three steps thou wilt go near the gods. The sages who injure nobody and who always control their body, they will go to the unchangeable place, Nirvana, where if they have gone, they will suffer no more. Those who are ever watchful, who study day and night, and who strive after Nirvana, their passions will come to an end. This is an old saying, O Attila. This is not as if of today. They blame him who sits silent. They blame him who speaks much. They also blame him who says little. There is no one on earth who is not blamed. There never was, there never will be, nor is there now a man who is always blamed or a man who is always praised. But he whom those who discriminate praise continually day after day as without blemish, wise, rich in knowledge and virtue, who would dare to blame him like a coin made of gold from the Gambu River. Even the gods praise him. He is praised even by Brahman. Beware of bodily anger and control thy body. Leave the sins of the body and with thy body practice virtue. Beware of the anger of the tongue and control thy tongue. Leave the sins of the tongue and practice virtue with thy tongue. Beware of the anger of the mind and control thy mind. Leave the sins of the mind and practice virtue with thy mind. The wise who control their body, who control their tongue, the wise who control their mind are indeed well controlled.